We do like deflecting the blame, though, right? We deflect the blame on drugs, and we deflect the blame on the mentally ill. That's something that we definitely do, you know? That's one of our favorite hobbies as a society, is to deflect blame. I find it infuriating whenever we deflect the blame on the, the mentally ill. Every time there's a mass shooting in this country, the first people we blame are the mentally ill, which is crazy to me, right? First of all, I'm even astounded at the fact that guns as an invention has made it this far. Because the first guns we invented were just dog shit, right? Yeah, you got like one shot, it took 12 and a half minutes to reload, and by that time somebody had stabbed you in the face with a bayonet. That's how shitty the first guns were, is that we put a knife at the end of it just in case. <laughs> You'd have figured there would have been one meeting back in the day. Yeah, right? Just like one guy back in the day was like, hey, uh, just a quick interjection. Uh, I don't know if these guns are really doing us any good. Seems like a lot more people on our side seem to be dying than on the other side. Maybe we can do something more productive with our time. Uh, I don't know, like curing cancer. That seems to be killing way more humans. And then, like, if we cure it now, then, like, in the future... Like everything doesn't give people cancer, and then and then they'll have to do like fun runs, <laughs> <laughs> like closing up parts of streets, and that creates like a traffic problem. And then when your relatives finish, they're all sweaty and they want to hug, and and nobody likes a sweaty hug, you know. And then that's like your whole Saturday. But like, but like if we cure it now though, like like in the future, people can just do whatever they want with their Saturdays. <laughs> And that's like a more productive way about, God damn it, Carl! <laughs> you think cancer's gonna do more human killing than me? Okay, let's, let's make that round thing come out of the hole. I know it's called a bullet. Don't stop me when I'm ranting, you son of a bitch. Cancer gonna do more human killing than me. This is America, damn it, or it will be. <laughs> Every time the gun debate comes up, we ask ourselves two questions, right? Should we ban it or should we arm everybody? And those are both the wrong questions to ask each other, right? Arming everybody isn't a solution. Arming everybody is just, just going to make us a lot more paranoid of a society than we already are, right? We're going to be waiting for it to be a Wild West shootout over the wrong latte order. <laughs> I said hazelnut, not caramel, not caramel, ain't even a nut drop. <laughs> I stayed over a, a friend's place recently, uh, and he's a conservative dude, he's a gun owner, right? And he looked at me and he goes, be careful, man, because I got a gun in every room of this house. I even got a gun strapped to the back of my toilet. And I looked at him and I said, buddy, why do you need a gun strapped to the back of your toilet? And he looked at me and says, ain't nobody gonna catch me in the most vulnerable position of my life. Folks, that's a beautiful level of paranoia that I'm just never gonna get to in my life. You know? Let's just say, hypothetically, someone breaks into your house to kill you, and you're on the toilet. That person's gonna give you the courtesy of a last shit, right? What do they have to lose at that point? Even in Psycho, he let her soap up before stabbing her in the chest 12 times. Nobody likes a dirty corpse. That's another line that deserves more than what you guys gave it. <laughs> I know it's dark, but I'm damn proud of that one. <laughs> Banning it isn't a solution either, right? Because here's a fun fact about human beings. Uh, we have been killing each other very effectively since before the inventions of guns. Holy shit, are we good at it. Yeah, that's gonna be one of our legacies. You know, when the whales take over because the oceans are gonna flood because no one's giving a shit about climate change right now. Like... <laughs> Like, when that happens, they're gonna be swimming around going, look at these humans! Really good at killing each other and McDonald's. <laughs> We've invented some beautiful weapons. We're very creative little monkeys, right? We've invented the curved blade, the crossbow, the human slingshot just to get Carl to shut the fuck up for five minutes. <laughs> Throwing a guy out of a window, a board with a nail in it. Oh! Such beautifully creative weapons. Here's my stance on guns. Uh, guns are here. They're here, right? And I think it's about damn time that we learned how to use them a little safer. And that's really what gun legislation is. And I talk about this to a, to a lot of my conservative friends, and some of them freak out. Some of them look at me and they go, well, they're trying to take my guns away, buddy. All right? They are trying to take my guns away. And I look at them and I'm like, no, that's not what gun legislation says. Gun legislation basically says, hey, 
can you please play with your toys a little nicely? Because if you can't, then I guess we're just going to have to put you in time out for a little bit. <laughs> right? Look, if you want to own a gun, own a gun. I don't give a shit. That's in the Constitution. Second Amendment, right to bear arms. There's some other shit in there, but people don't like to read. <laughs> But what's not in the Constitution is the right to kill somebody. And that is the only purpose for that tool. Yeah. And I've asked a lot of gun owners, please give me another purpose for your tool. And they bring up the protection argument, but that's still killing somebody to protect someone else. And they look at me and they go, well, sometimes I like to use my gun for hunting. Ah, that's still fucking killing something. All right, well, sometimes I like to shoot cans off a fence in my backyard. Oh, there you go. God damn it, now you're just killing time. <laughs> Even the curved blade has another purpose, right? You can use it to carve up a turkey at Thanksgiving dinner. Sure, the argument can be made that you can use an Uzi to carve up a turkey as well, but you're gonna carve up part of Pat Pat while you're at it, and that is gonna make for a much more awkward Thanksgiving than when your cousin came out last year. <laughs> Throwing a guy out of a window, that's just assisted parkour, right? Assisted parkour. Yeah, just helping a buddy out at that point. Yeah. A board with a nail in it, that's just art. You see an empty wall, just tack that right on there. Maybe paint a bluebird or a tree on it. Make it look pretty. Shoot a hole in the wall and see how quickly the cops show up at your doorstep, and you sure as hell fucked up the feng shui of the whole house. <laughs> Should we ban it or should we arm everybody? Those are the wrong questions we're asking ourselves. I think the question we need to start asking ourselves is what do we do to make sure that we're not all killing each other? That's the question I think we need to start asking ourselves. A lot of people don't want to answer that question, right? They think it's a little bit too difficult, but I don't think so. I think if we can start uh, listening to each other, right? Thinking that, and thinking that a gun gives you bonus points on an ideology and stop competing over it, We'd be a hell of a lot less aggressive of a society. Just because you got a Glock strapped to your hip at the back of your toilet doesn't really fix that latte order now, does it? <laughs> Catch more flies with honey than you do an AR-15. <laughs> yeah, that's just a nice piece of Southern poetry, isn't it? 